Good evening and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us for our service of night prayer or Compline on Wednesday the 3rd of November. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for our rector, the Reverend Joe Richards and our curate, the Reverend Jenny Walpole. In the calendar of the Church of England today we're asked to remember Richard Hooker priest, Anglican apologist, teacher of the faith, 1600, and Martin of Porres, friar, 1639. A word about each of them. Richard Hooker was born in Heavy Tree in Exeter in about 1554. He came under the influence of John Jewell, the Bishop of Salisbury, in his formative years and through that influence went up to Corpus Christi College, Oxford, where he became a fellow. He was ordained and then married, and he became a parish priest, and in 1585, Master of the Temple in London. Richard became one of the strongest advocates of the position of the Church of England, and defended its middle way between Puritanism and Papalism. Perhaps his greatest work was of the laws of ecclesiastical polity, which he wrote as a result of engaging in controversial debates. He showed Anglicanism as rooted firmly in scripture as well as tradition, affirming its continuity with the pre-Reformation ecclesiastical uh, Anglicana. But now both Catholic and Reformed, Richard became a parish priest again, near Canterbury and died there on this day in the year 1600. Martin de Porres was born in Lima in Peru in 1547. He was the illegitimate son of a Spanish knight and a black Panamanian free woman. He joined the Third Order of the D Dominicans when he was 15 years old and was later received as a lay brother into the First Order, mainly because of his reputation for caring for the poor and needy. As the Friary Almoner, he was responsible for the daily distribution to the poor, and he had a particular care for the many African slaves, whose lives were a dreadful indictment of the Christian conquistadores. Martin became sought after for a spiritual counsel unusual for a lay brother at that time. His care for all God's creatures led many to love and revere him, and his own brothers chose him as their spiritual leader. He died of a violent fever on this day in 1639, and because of his care for all, regardless of class or colour, he is seen as the patron saint of race relations. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our hope is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Let us reflect on the past day. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us by our sins. Heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Our traditional hymn is spoken. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, 
and Holy Spirit by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. The refrain for Psalm 31 starting at the first verse is into your hands I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a fortress, fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me. For you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have re redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, when scorn and shame besiege us and hope is veiled in, veiled in grief, hold us in your wounded hands and make your face shine on us again. For you are our Lord and God. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Our short reading this evening is our short scripture reading this evening is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter twenty four, th verses thirteen and fourteen A. The one who endures to the end will be saved. And this is good news of the kingdom. And this good news of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the world as a testimony to all the nations. Our responsory. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Our Gospel canticle is the Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. O King most blessed on the day of judgment, number us among your chosen. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. O King, most blessed, on the day of all judgment, number us among your chosen. At the end of this day we come to your throne, to deliver to you our reflections on what has taken place. And we ask in equal measure that you both forgive us and give us grace for all that we have been about. We pray, gracious Lord, that you will comfort the bereaved, particularly the family of Bishop Jonathan. And we ask you to be with us as we seek to help those less fortunate than ourselves. We pray for all members of our community and we ask you in the silence of our hearts to hear of those people that you are well aware of, that we wish to bring to you 
in love, in care, and wishing your love would surround them. Our collect for today, God of peace, the bond of all love, who in your Son Jesus Christ have made the human race your inseparable dwelling place. After the example of your servant Richard Hooker, give grace to us, your servants, ever to rejoice in the true inheritance of your adopted children and to show forth your praises now and forever. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. In peace. We will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the light of Christ, the King of all, shine ever bright, brighter in our hearts that with all the saints in light, we may shine forth as lights in the world. Thank you very much for joining us. Tomorrow morning at nine o'clock, our curate, Jenny Walpole, will be with us for morning prayer on Thursday. In the meantime, have a safe and quiet night. Know that God loves you. Good night. <laughs>